all I can say. Do you guys feel that? Oh. Hey everyone, well, I'm glad you're all tuning into this. It is very important and I'm gonna put a little bit more here, more information. Um, one, I did not come up with this idea. Somebody in the, I'm guessing the Kubota Skid Steer Group or that's where I saw it on Facebook. Um, if you got a Kubota, great place to go. Um, lots of good information there on them. Um, whoever figured this out, I can't say thank you enough. You have helped myself and numerous other people um other people in the group uh have been great and sharing pictures and everything and this will be my contribution i'm going to share a video of doing it it is super easy to do um take out a bunch of screws three i think it was three or four pieces um and you're there to it drill two holes and you're laughing and blow it out vacuum underneath wash it out whatever way you decide to do i've seen it done a bunch of different ways so you pick the way you want to do it and have at her um the other thing i did not i missed hitting record on my gopro so i did not get drilling the holes i had to do all drill with a whole bit whatever size that is one inch or a little bit bigger uh top one's easy to do the one in the bottom it's pretty tight getting in there with that drill but you can do it uh like you start off at a slight angle but you can get it done it's not very difficult and you just when you're done you cover them with duct tape it's super easy um uh next time i may even take this one step farther and put like little doors on the uh plastic that i took off with little hinges and all you got to do is flip them open and pull the duct tape off, clean it out, and put them in. So it would take like t literally 10 minutes to do this job, which maybe will happen in the future for us or other people that want to do it. You know, you're cleaning it all the time. Anyway, guys, again, hope you all enjoyed this. Sorry for a bit of the shaky footage. It's kind of a really cramped space, and everything's kind of in your face when I'm showing you. It's tough to get a wider view because you just don't have a room in the cap. But anyway, without further ado, Here's the rest of the video. Thanks, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, what are we doing? Working on the 95-2S. This video will go for the SVL 90, 95, 75, I believe, and I'm not sure if the 65 is the same. But the air conditioning not blowing anymore and why you aren't getting you can hear the motor running you can hear the fan running you know what's there and you're just getting a little bit of air what happens on these is the i think it's the evaporator core or heater core i'm not sure which one they plug up i'm gonna say the evaporator core anyway it plugs up you can't get air through it anymore and without what i'm told is it's a full-time full day job to pull this apart so we're gonna do it another way pull the seat forward and you're gonna get in here and we're gonna take off all this stuff hopefully you can see this is your inside air and it's back in here you can see where all that water is we were running it but see what we can get done all right so what do you want to take out you'll see there's a cover here. All these, I'm guessing they're 10 mil, but I got a uh, Phillips and the driver. So you have one piece, two pieces. This is part of your vents as well. This all comes off together. And this, I believe it's three pieces. So this piece, and this is the one you want to get behind. 
So we will get that taken off. These machines are really bad for that, for this. Um, if you run with the door open, it sucks it in your inside air. There we go. And these filters just don't stop it enough. Um, your best if you're running, always run with the door closed. Plug up that outside one and run with this open. That's the idea. Um, but yeah, it happens. This is the best, fastest way to do it. So we'll see how long it takes me to do it. I think it's around one o'clock. So we will go from, let's see, 1241. Let's see how long it takes me. The boss is running, getting me some other tools. But yeah, we'll see how this goes. All right. So I had to take off the uh, cup holder part for my screw holder. That's how many screws you gotta take out. This one I just took off, tried to get it out easier because it got caught on here. This is what you want. So you wanna put a hole right here and go down to the bottom, put a hole right here. Flow through the top, comes out through the bottom. So that is what we are going to do. Sound good? Sound good. Let's get my drills and see what I can do here. hot in here not gonna lie on that it is humid today rain just went through but this was a success on the top on the bottom i've seen guys cut this whole piece out here wide open so they can access the whole thing um other ways guys do it mm, you probably can't see without a light my lights on my phone and i'm recording with my phone um Take like a little pump up uh, sprayer and go down in through this hole and just soak it. Let the water come out through the bottom and um, drain out the bottom. And it just goes in the belly pan here. But this works awesome. It is a noticeable difference. So um, I recommend not running up for a bit with the air on because that will get all that dirt wet again. Um, do it after it sits so that dirt will blow off a little bit easier i could probably even get it cleaner but i just don't have the tools right now so i'll throw it all back together um, i'm happy with how it's blowing and uh and the next time i gotta do it because there will be a next time it's not a permanent fix that's why you do it this way instead of ripping out they want you to take out this whole box and take out like all these these are screws take out all these there's a million of them in there Pull it apart, clean it, and then put it all back in. It's like an eight hour job, so we ain't doing that. But yeah, duct tape over those holes and reassemble. I'm very happy with this, because this AC like hardly worked. It hardly blew. 40 degrees out, you'd actually have to run with the doors open, windows open, because it was just way too hot. 40 degrees, you know, 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah, it just did not blow enough to keep it cold in here. But anyway, I'm going to button this up and pull the 60 in and do a oil change on it.
sheet of paper yeah. it, it's blowing you just gotta trust me because if it didn't work I wouldn't even put it up because I'd be wasting my time I wouldn't even tell somebody to waste their time eight hour job in the shop I've, I've heard to, that took me just over an hour at, about an hour it's a must do must do thanks guys anyway guys Remember, thumbs up, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks everyone.